Hello, everyone. I am excited to be here. This is Jen, jenscalia.com, and I am actually doing a quick training video for you. I want to talk about how to create a kick-ass opt-in. So for those of you who don't know me, I'll give you a brief introduction, and I will talk about how you can create your own kick-ass opt-in for your website and your business. So, like I said, I am Jen Scalia. I am a best-selling author, visibility coach, and business strategist. I work with coaches and online entrepreneurs to get them in front of their ideal clients and book them by showing up and standing out in a crowded industry. I have coached hundreds of women uh, entrepreneurs to get more clients, make more money, and achieve success online. I myself have grown my list organically from 300 to over 5,000 in less than a year without spending a dime on advertising. And I've booked over $100,000 in new clients in the first three months of 2015. So I personally have over 10 years of marketing and social media experience, including starting and growing my own clothing line to an internationally known brand that was featured on reality TV shows as well as MTV. I've also been published in the Huffington Post, Mind Body Green, Elite Daily, Tiny Buddha, and more. I also co-authored a book, Against the Grain, with the notable Brian Tracy. I've also been featured on several podcasts and telesummits. So I know a thing or two about being visible, about getting seen, about putting yourself out there, you and your business, um, so that you can create your own success and you can do it very organically by building relationships, by building connections, and that by just, you know, taking the leap and putting yourself out there. So let's talk today about how to create a kick-ass opt-in. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet as are all of my other trainings, but I want to, of course, make it very valuable for you. So let's start with tip number one. Tip number one is that you have one chance to make a first impression. Now, I don't know about you, but I have seen a ton of Facebook ads lately with opt-in offers, freebies, premium, whatever you want to call them. Um, people call them different things. Um, lead magnets, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's basically um, something that you know, someone, a coach, service provider, or otherwise is offering you in exchange for your email address um, so that they can get you on their list and list build, which is the same thing that you would be using your lead magnet for. So like I was saying, I don't know about you, but I've been seeing a lot of these lately in Facebook ads and some of them sound really juicy. They have an awesome, you know, um, picture attached. It looks very... Um, it looks very professional, everything looks great, the title is great, and you download the opt-in and it's crap. Um, I totally hate that. I don't know about you guys, but I hate that. Um, and then I immediately unsubscribe. <laughs> so I don't want this to happen to you. I really want you to think hard about what it is that you can offer, and I want you to make it really amazing. Okay. Um, this is your chance. This is your chance to, you know, start to create that trust and that credibility and that likability with your potential new audience. So just keep that in mind. I'll get a little bit into more of the tips, but this one, just keep this top of mind. Your opt-in is your chance to make a first impression with a new audience. So make it good. The second tip is do your research. So, you know, um, especially when I work with some of my clients, I ask them, you know, what do you think you want your opt-in to be? And they usually pull something out of thin air. And I've seen that a lot of other people do this. Either, you know, the opt-in is just not relevant um, or they haven't done their research. They have no idea what their potential audience could even want um, or that their opt-in is actually something that they would download. So go back to your target market research, do surveys, ask questions in groups and in forums, um, you know, send questionnaires to your past clients, find out exactly what your target market needs, what they want, um, and what they need help with. 
Tip number three is you want your lead magnet or your opt-in to solve a problem. Um, now, I know I hear a little bit about, you know, they're just not sure how much to give and all of that stuff. You know, we'll get into that a little bit later. But whatever it is that you decide you want your opt-in to be, it needs to solve a problem for your people or they're just not going to want it. Um, so again, go back to your target market research, find out what they want, find out what their struggles are and solve that problem with your opt-in. Tip number four is to make it relevant. So you can kind of look at this a few different ways. Um, there are so many different things you can do for an opt-in. You can do audios, you can do a video series, you can do a challenge, you can have a checklist, you can have a planner, um, you can have an ebook. Um, whatever it is that you desire, make sure that it's relevant to your audience. So for example, if your audience or your target market is busy moms, you do not want to send them three one hour long webinars that they have to sit there and watch. Not going to work. They're never going to watch it. You also don't want to send them a 300 page ebook. Um, <clears throat> I actually think personally that ebooks have kind of gone by the wayside. I feel like a lot of people, you know, used to use this um, and they would, De people download them and they never read them. So I think, you know, going back to solving the problem and making it relevant. You want it to be something that your target mar target audience is going to enjoy um, and that they can absorb. So if you know your people like audio, then make it an audio and not video. If you know your people, you know, need help with organization, then maybe it's a planner or a checklist or something like that. So really always go back to my tip number two, which was do your research. Make this relevant to the people who you want to attract. Number five is to over deliver. Okay, so I kind of want to go back to number one, which is you have one chance to make a first impression. So in this opt-in, you really want to give them everything. You want to give away the goods. Um, over deliver in every way. Give 10 times the value of what you think it's worth. Um, and this is really going to leave a really good impression with the people that have just opted into your list. They're going to want to continue to hear from you. They're going to want to stay on your list. Um, so just always give, give, give. And I know you guys have heard me say this before, but it is so true. You really can't give too much. Um, even if you gave them all the tools and you gave them, you know, what they had to solve, they're still going to need you. So don't ever think like you're giving away too much. I just don't think it's possible. Number six is add on. So this is a really, um, a tip that, um, I think is really great and a lot of people aren't utilizing this. So what I mean by add on is say for example, if you've downloaded my free opt-in, which is 26 ways to be more visible and crush it online, you'll notice that it was a printable worksheet. However, I also attached an audio to it, an audio that people could follow and read along with me. Um, so this could be great for you if you're doing maybe a video series or an audio series that you have some sort of PDF or checklist attached to it. So make it more than just a one thing, you know, make it, you know, a whole little toolkit and something that they can actually dig their teeth into and really absorb and enjoy. So just always think about what you can add on to it. And it doesn't necessarily have to be um, anything crazy or big or anything like that, but just something that maybe they can follow along with, um, something that they can keep. Um, you want to just be able to give them multiple options for what you're trying to show them or teach them. Number seven is to have a follow-up sequence in place. This is a huge mistake that I see a lot of people skipping. Okay, um, I confess, um, I actually have been terrible at doing this as well. I have no follow-up sequence, um, you know, in the past for my opt-ins. I just would say, hey, take my quiz, or hey, you know, download this free ebook, and I had no follow-up sequence. This is crucial, um, because once somebody gets on your list, they're basically raising their hand and saying, I want to hear from you. It doesn't necessarily mean that I want to buy from you. It means 
I think I like what you have to say. So by having a really strong follow-up sequence in place, you can get them from raising their hands and saying, I want to hear from you, to raising both hands and saying, I want to buy from you. So this is really crucial and important um, to have a follow-up sequence in place for your opt-in or lead magnet, whatever you want to call it. Um, something you know that you can do and it doesn't even really have to be that difficult or that hard or that intricate is just maybe set you know about five emails um, in your follow-up sequence and maybe they get dripped you know every other day or every two days or something like that but you kind of want to take them on a journey you want to take them on a journey from you know the lessons that they that you gave them during the opt-in and you know take them to where they're seeing you as a solution to their problem. And if you've already solved one of their problems, then they're likely to believe that you're going to be able to help them with another one. So this is very important. Tip number seven, have a follow-up plan, have a follow-up sequence in place. Number eight is make it easy to digest. Another huge mistake I see a lot of people do is to, to really just bombard people with so much information. And I, again, am probably guilty of this, but it's just because I have so much good information that I want to give. However, my content is easily digestible. So I usually have bullet points, seven tips to do this, six ways to do that. It's very easy to digest the information. Um, and going back to my webinar um, example, you wouldn't want to send like three one hour long videos. It's just too much. Think about what your client needs, take out all the fluff and give them the solution to their problem. Number nine is to make it easy to sign up. So this may seem like a no brainer, right? Um, but I think that, you know, this is something that a lot of people just don't really think about either. They create the opt-in or they create the lead magnet, but there is no way to sign up or they have to go through this intricate process in order to sign up or, you know, they sign up and it's not so easy for them to get their um, opt-in or whatever it is, you know, it ends up being like this whole process and they have to sign up here and sign up there and do this and go to that link. Make it easy for them because if you make it too difficult, I'm just not going to sign up. I mean, at least that's me. I've, I've, you know, tried to sign up for webinars and things like that before, and it just becomes so difficult. I just end up clicking off. So make it easy for people to sign up for your free thing. Oops, went backwards there. Um, number 10 is to promote it everywhere. I get this question all the time. People ask, where do I promote it? Where can I share my opt-in? everywhere. You can share this on your Facebook page. You can share this in your Facebook group. You can share this in other people's Facebook groups. You can share it on Instagram. You can share it on LinkedIn, on Pinterest, on Twitter. Um, you can share it to your list. I'm sure they're going to want, you know, your goods as well. You can share it um, at the bottom of a guest post. If they allow you to have a bio, have it linked directly there. Um, there are so many different places that you can do this. If you want it to go faster, if you want to reach a different audience, do Facebook ads. Um, There's so many different options for you to promote your opt-in. Make sure that you are promoting it everywhere. Just make sure that, you know, when you do promote, it is not just the same places with the same images, you know, get creative, come up with different ways to promote it, a couple different leads in, lead ins, um, maybe come up with a couple different images that you can share in different places. But I promote my opt in everywhere. So that is it my top 10 tips for creating a kick ass opt-in. Um, so I would love to hear from you guys since this was a pre-recorded training. Um, I still would love to hear your ideas for an opt-in. If you are looking to upgrade your opt-in or you're just creating your first one, please jump on over to the group um, and, you know, tag me, share it with me, let me know what you're thinking of doing, and I will certainly give you some tips on how you can improve it or how you can, you know, really take it and make it sing so that your potential audience loves your opt-in, loves you, and stays on your list. So I will see you guys in the next training. Have an amazing, amazing day.